All right, here we are, the first practice report, spring 2023. Smoky Investment Team practice report number one, LSU football, bright and early. Practice uh, began a little uh, before 8 o'clock a.m. We got in for 20 minutes, and um, we were relegated to one sideline, but I think we saw a whole lot. And, um, of course, Mike Scarborough here with Buddy Sanji. Baton Rouge Sports Talk legend, and uh, Buddy, what, what, what did you think about what you saw today? Good morning, everybody. Got a Thursday morning, a little quickie for you as we try to start to make sense of all these new players, all these new numbers, and once again, second year of the Brian Kelly regime. Look, we can't give you a whole lot from what we saw. We did see these guys, once again, everything against air, looking at what they look like in the uniform. We'll give you some names and numbers. But uh, we'll have to uh, expand on all of this after we see the tape because it goes very quickly when you have 17, 18 minutes. Uh, and then you're talking to people and trying to get scoop. Uh, but uh, we'll continue to deliver these, and uh, it's going to be a heck of a year for everybody. Yeah, it's. Um, I really like there were some players that, I, I look, you know, of course, we make a beeline immediately for quarterbacks. We immediately want to look at the numbers and see the guys, that the freshmen that showed up and see what they look like. I really like what 84 – uh, Matt Markway looked like. Uh, I think that tight end group with Den Brock was really getting after it. Trey Holly at running back wearing number 25. I like what I saw out of him. Uh, now, we were sitting here wondering after practice that we didn't see number four, uh, John Emery, out there. Uh, I didn't see him. That doesn't mean that he's not out there or going to be out there at some point. Um, we'll ask Brian Kelly. We'll get him uh, after practice. Of course, we're not allowed to upload these reports or any practice coverage until practice ends. So about the time Brian Kelly starts talking to us is when this is going to show up on our YouTube channel, LSU Tigers on Tiger Bait. Um, but Ricky Collins getting a lot of reps today. I thought Ricky looked pretty good physically. And, uh, of course, uh, we saw yesterday that Jaden Daniels listed at 205 on the roster uh, with 6'4". Yeah, Jaden Daniels gained an inch and five pounds. Uh, Garrett Nussmeyer, 6'1", 202. So he's gained about seven or eight good pounds. Ricky Collins did throw the ball well. By the way, we mentioned it last night. Fitzgerald West did work with the defensive line. Savion Smith, this is his money year. He looks like he's one of the leaders. Uh, but uh, when you start talking about uh, guys on the D-line that were running with the first group, Jacoby and Gilroy Tank, this is a big year for him. He's dropped some weight. He's got to give them some solid minutes throughout the spring because Mason Smith limited to no contact. And, of course, uh, Makai Wingo out uh, for the, uh, the spring also uh, on that uh, group, uh, look, uh, he's uh, coming over. He's a grad transfer, Ovi Ogafu, number 17. If you see him, uh, he looks good. And uh, also uh, some other guys that we'll get into. But D-line, cornerbacks, Tobiano running with the ones at cornerbacks. Denver Harris was in the twos or threes. We'll give you more updates after we look at the film. I thought Jackson McGowan, 83, also looked good at tight end. They were getting a lot of... Uh one-on-one, -on -one, and those guys were working alongside each other in, in drills. I'll have some of that video. I'll probably, I'm guessing, maybe I have about 12 or 13 minutes of practice footage. Uh, that'll be on the premium side of tigerbait.com. You'll want to go subscribe and, and, and uh, try our $1 uh, free trial. Uh, not free, it's $1, but it's worth it. Uh, you're going to enjoy our practice video. Nobody shoots practice video better than we do, and uh, I got a lot of it for you. Um, I, I was blowing and going, trying to get as much as I could for you guys, and uh, we'll have that on TigerBait.com uploaded uh, very quickly. Paris Shan, number 94, another one of those transfer portal guys. He's running in with the first team D-line. Right now, Harold Perkins and Greg Penn look like Mike. They head uh, right out of the gate, 4-2-5, uh, as we're going to see a lot of nickel. Interesting to see what Matt House is going to do. Uh, from a schematic standpoint on Harold Perkins. How much will you move him around? We did not see Omar Spates with the ones, but he is a good-looking kid, 6'1", 235, going to play a bunch of uh, football for LSU inside this year. Get a good, did you get any good look at the uh, defensive line? And anybody that uh, got to see anybody, whether it was Jackson Howard, any of the newcomers? Yeah, uh, Jackson Howard looks good in his uniform. He's wearing 11. number 11. As we said, the uh, Ovi Ogafu, number 17, is a jack. Uh, Paris Shan is a new guy, Jacobian. Look, I think right now the, the, the key thing that we're all going to be looking at is will 35 make you double team him? Who is going to be that guy on that D line that commands uh, two blockers and, and frees up Perkins and the others to come in? You know you want to get more sacks, you know you want to get more turnovers, you know you want to be aggressive. 
and uh, obviously uh, we have a lot of uh, time to, to digest all this stuff well, and spit it out to you. We're relegated to one sideline, uh, at least for today, or maybe that's going to be the way it's going to be uh, the entire spring. So sun's uh, in, in our lenses. So I think a lot of the media were walking out saying, I don't know what I saw. And I'm like, yeah, you, you're going to know what you saw when you see the video. There's, gonna, there's a lot of video that we shot, but it's going to be particularly the defensive linemen. Uh, I zoomed in way across two practice fields uh, to catch some of the offensive linemen. I uh, got a real good look at uh, Will Campbell. Man, he, he just, you know, he always looks great, doesn't he? But, man, he you can just see him even maturing more physically. Um, what Flint and them are doing in the uh, strength conditioning program, you see it in a lot of these bodies um, in, in a short period of time, just between the end of last offseason, and obviously we're starting real early with spring practice uh, March 9th. Yeah, and look, uh, everybody knows that uh, we're going to have a lot of scrutiny at center. Charles Turner is out for the spring. Marlon Martinez is probably going to get reps with the ones, but who is going to be your backup center or two? Are you going to give Garrett Dellinger some cross-training at guard and center? Uh, by the way, Mason Lunsford is signed, but he's not coming in until the uh, June. Uh, so uh, as you alluded to and we talked about last night on the show, 66 and 50, those are going to be your two leaders by example. But they also, Mike, I think have gotten more vocal. This offensive line is going to be very, very good. And you know, Brad got a lot Davis of veterans wants, there. He wants too deep, and we'll see if you can get 10 across the board too deep at every position. Well, I'm walking along that sideline, and, and I'm asking Buddy, I'm asking Hannigriff, I'm asking everybody, where's Brie K? I, I, did you see? I, I, I didn't Who's see that? Him. Brian Kelly. I didn't see him out there. I did not see he, Brian he, Kelly, but right now uh, you I'm know more he, interested he, in seeing players in the head man. Yeah, you know he was out there. I just uh, He was just – he might have been over there on that other field uh, with the offensive line mostly. I'm sure I'll find him when I go through the video. Uh, but, uh, of course, this uh, practice support is uh, brought to you by our good friend Bart and Brian Smokey at the Smokey Investment Team in Alexandria. Uh, you overwhelmed by all the news and social media in today's world. It's hard not to know what the real facts are. So difficult to sift through all the information at your fingertips. That's where the Smokey Investment Team comes in. They will help you manage your money and make the decisions best suited for you and your family, no matter what your life situation is at the moment. Getting married, starting a family, changing jobs, children going to college or retiring, they're there to support you in making the best investment decisions for your individual situation. When you invest your money with the Smokey Investment Team, you get over 40 years of uh, investment experience to give you the confidence to make those all important decisions. Let Bart and Brian Smokey help you uh, with the future you want. Call them at 318-448-3201. That's 318-448-3201. Secure, securities Advisory Services offered through LPL Financial, a registered investment advisor, member FINRA slash SIPC. Big thanks to the uh, Smoky Investment Team for sponsoring these practice reports right here on LSU Tigers on Tiger Bait YouTube channel. As we talked about last night in our uh, Wednesday show, we are going to be looking very closely at cornerback, uh, at defensive line, and, and basically all through, I think, uh, offensive line, that once you uh, figure out what you're going to do with center for the spring. We'll have some better ideas on that. Uh, there's been some conjecture that Bo Boardline could get a look-see at center as well in the uh, in the spring camp. And uh, today, uh, I am sponsored by Amanda Fine Meats. Don't forget, we are the official sausage of LSU Athletics. You can get our great product line at every LSU event. And uh, we know baseball, once again, 9-2. to two. And how about Matt McMahon? and LSU finally being able to finish the game last night. Win by three. Of course, uh, as we know, uh, brackets uh, released on Sunday. They, wanted, they, were, they, almost, they, almost fell, they almost fell into it, didn't they? But they, they pulled it out. So, uh, But uh, back to the football uh, look. Uh, give us a little time to get acclimated and see some film because it is very fast-paced, especially with all these new transfers and new numbers. Yeah, I um – you know, I asked it, uh, we talked about it on the show last night, you know, the, the lengthy list of those who aren't participating, guys who had off-season surgery. Is that to be a concern? I, I don't believe so. Um, you know, certainly you like to see Mason Taylor and guys like him, Aaron Anderson, who, you know, we talk about nonstop and what, what an excitement uh, transfer that, that is to have. Um, but I think you also got a group of guys that they'll be ready to go in June and they're going to get a lot of work during the summertime. But uh, it gives other guys an opportunity. You know, we talk about Jacoby and Guillory and guys like him where there's an influx of new talent. Uh, guys like him have a real opportunity. Guys that have been in the program for three, four years, 
uh, it, it, you know, it's really time to make a move. And I think, you know, is this the spring that Jacobian does it? Yeah, and the look, uh, everybody's asking about that. Brian Kelly is quite uh, pleased with the fact that a lot of these injuries are just cleanup procedures. Mason Taylor on his shoulder. Uh, obviously, Aaron Anderson not out there. We're way too early to know what special teams are going to look like. John Jancic, the new special teams coordinator. But uh, all of this stuff is precautionary, so you won't have to deal with it in the fall. Most of those guys should be good to be uh, go. Uh, of course, uh, Mason is going to be out here, but uh, not clear for contact. And, and the same with uh, uh, a couple others. Uh, and you mentioned the seven last night that will not be out there. So, All right, guys. Go to TigerBait.com. Try us out for $1. Again, I'm going to load up a full video package. We're also going to have Brian Kelly post-practice video right here on the YouTube channel. So you want to hit the subscription button, notification bell. And if you like this video, if you enjoyed what we did today, please hit that like button. It's uh, very much appreciative. And uh, thanks to Man Define Meats and the Smokey Investment Team uh, for being a part of our show today. And we're going to have a lot more coming through for you throughout the spring on TigerBait.com. See you on the other side.